Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel. Today we have very interesting, I would say like very tricky question, because a lot of students make this common mistake. Here in the middle of the screen we can see this question, we have 4 divided by 2 divided by 4 divided by 2. And you know we need to, we need to solve this question. You can easily pause the video and write your solution down into the comment section, and I give 99% that you solve this question absolutely incorrect, because I don't know why, but a lot of students forget about basic math topic, about basic math algorithm and principles, and they solve this question absolutely, absolutely incorrect. So a lot of students solve this question like that. They say, okay, maybe 4 divided by 2, we have right here equal to 2, and we have the same division, so we have 4 divided by 2 on the right side, and right here we have 2 as well. And with this division in the middle, we have 2 divided by 2, so as a result, 2 divided by 2 equal to 1. And we have this option, this is option A. So a lot of students say that correct answer is A, and they are, they are really happy about it, that they solve this question. And you know, here is the main question, because in terms of math, we need to know about basic math principles. And here is the main question, is it correct answer or not correct? Right now let's try to figure out what is the correct answer and a correct approach. So as you can see right here, we just do whatever we want. We just divide it right here, 4 divided by 2, and we divide it right here, 4 divided by 2. And you know, we need to know what is the correct order to do this problem, because we can't jump from left side to right side, we can't do whatever we want. For example, if we divide right here in the middle at first, we have one answer. If we divide on the left side, on the right side, we have a completely different answer. But in terms of math, we need to know about really important thing, which is called order of operation. In our question, we have only division sign, but generally we can easily have subtraction, we can easily have addition, we can easily have multiplication, we can easily parentheses, maybe inner parentheses sometimes, maybe like powers, you know, and we need to know how can we order all of this stuff. We need to know what is the, the first step. This is not like from left to right, not division, first subtraction, second and addition. Third, we need to know what is the correct order to perform all these mathematical operators. And for this part, I'm going to show you this PEMDAS order of operation. This is like a quick checklist to know what is the correct order to perform mathematical operators. And you know, this is not an English word, this is like a quick checklist. This PEMDAS is extremely important in the USA, in Canada, in Europe. For example, maybe you hear about BODMAS, this is also like order of operation, which is like extremely popular in India, in the UK. But to be honest, the meaning, the meaning is absolutely absolutely the same. So right now let me just erase all of this stuff and let's go through the steps real quick. And of course we will scan in each of these steps to our question, okay? Then we can easily scan it and we will get our answer. So the first step according to PEMDAS is parentheses. These type of brackets, maybe this type of squiggly brackets sometimes, maybe this type of brackets. So to be honest, look at group and symbol. And right now let's scan our question in terms of our group and symbol. Let's scan where do we have it. So we don't have parentheses, we don't have these things, yeah, we don't have these things. So we can easily Skip this part, we don't have parentheses, so it's it's really great. After parentheses, after evaluating all the expression with parentheses brackets, we need to go to the next step. The next step is exponent. But don't don't be scared about this. This E stands for exponent, but this is basic powers. We need to find maybe we have squares, maybe we have cubes, maybe we have force power. We need to scan in all of this stuff. In our case, we don't have any of those, so we can actually skip this part. Really great. So we don't have any powers like 2 to the power 5, like 10 to the power 10. So we're talking about basic A to the the power x, where x is our x is our power. Okay, the next step is multiplication and division group. This is one common group. This is not like m multiplication first, then division. It, this is not like that. This is one common group. So multiplication and division are tied for priority or importance. So we have absolutely the same priority in both cases, in multiplication and division cases and division multiplication cases. So whenever we have expression, for example, 2 times 4 divided by 3, we need to perform multiplication first, because multiplication comes first from left to right. But when we have 2 divided by 3 times 4, whenever we have like division multiplication mixture, we need to perform division uh, first, then multiplication. So here's the key moment. Whenever we have a mixture of multiplication and division, we need to perform it in a strict order from left from left to right. Step by step, we can't we can't jump. And right now, let's scan where do we have multiplication division signs. In our question, we have only division signs, so we can actually skip this multiplication part. We don't have it. We have only division signs. So let me change my pen to green one, and we can easily see that among these steps, we have only only D, only division. And what is the correct order to perform this multiplication? 
multiplication with, with division signs. As I told before, doesn't matter. Multiplication, division, mixture, division, multiplication, mixture, or all the time, multiplication, mixture, or all the time, division, mixture. We need to perform it in a strict order from left to right. And we can't jump from, so from left to middle, from left uh, to right side. We can't jump. We can't perform it in an order from, from right to left. We need to perform it in a strict order from left to right. So how, how it works? How does it work? First of all, we have three signs. And we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right. We have three. We have division. We have division. And we have once more, once more division. So which one is the first from left to right? Obviously, this one is the first from left to right. So we need to divide four divided by two at first. And for better understanding, you can easily put imaginary brackets in your head that, okay, I have division, so I need to perform it. This is our first step. I need to divide four divided by two. And as a result, four divided by two equal to equal to two. Okay, and we still have this division, so let's rewrite it. Like, don't jump, because in the beginning we just divided 4 divided by 2 right here, so we just jump uh, from left to right, which is not good. So let me just rewrite all of this stuff. So 2 divided by 4 divided by 2. Okay, and right now we, we haven't completed this uh, division yet, okay, because we still have like two division signs, so we need to complete it. And right now how can we work with this expression? So we still have division signs, we still have all the time division signs, so right now we need to scan once more what is the first sign from, from left from left to right. We have only two signs and don't forget about the order the, the like, the, the approximately like uh, this, this sign. How can we work from left to right not from, from right to left, okay? Don't forget about it. So right here we have 2 divided by 4 will be our next step because we have division is our first sign from left from left to right absolutely with the same algorithm as we had before. So right now this is our second step. We have 2 divided by 4. This is our our second step because we have only two signs and in terms of our in terms of our question, we need to perform it in a strict order from left from left left to right. So 2 divided by 4, this is our next step. As a result, what do we have right here? We have 2 divided by 4. We can easily write it. So let me just simplify this right here a little bit. So we have 2 divided by 4. How can we rewrite it? We can rewrite it as a fraction, so 2 over 4. Or we can rewrite it as, for example, we can cancel 2 and 4. As a result, we have 2, we have 1, so we have 1. One half. So instead of this 2 divided by 4, we can easily write 1 half. So let me just erase all of this stuff. I really hope you get it. I really hope you get the point. So right here, we, of course, we have 2. Okay, so right here we have 1 half. And we still have this last division sign. This is our third step. So let me just change this right here. So we have division, uh, division sign. So we still have this division by 2. And as a result, we, our last step is simple division. We can easily do this because we have only one division sign. So as a result, one half divided by two equal to one one fourth, or we can write it in terms of like zero point twenty five. If you if you get it, if you're interested in this in this value, so our answer is zero point twenty five or one one fourth. And I really hope you get the point that we can't jump, or like we can't do whatever we want. Because whenever we have expression, like uh, for example, let's write it right here, this expression. So for example, we have 2 divided by 3 times 4 uh, divided by 5 and uh, times 7, something like that, yeah? And if you look closely, we have a mixture of multiplication and division. And as I said before, we can't jump, so we can't, for example, okay, I want to divide 4 divided by 5 at first, and then I want to divide, uh, for example, then I want to multiply it by 7, next I want to divide it by 3, and the next thing multiply it by 2, so something like that, very chaotic and randomly method. Don't, just forget about it. You just need to perform it in a strict order from left to right, and of course, we is, you need to pay attention to this order of operation, which is extremely important stuff, which helps you to get a correct answer, because a lot of calculators work according to PEMDAS order of operation, and it's really great for you to get the correct answer with this PEMDAS order of operation, and of course, for for to compare both answers, because when you solve this question randomly method, and when you compare with the correct method, you can easily learn something, you can easily get what is the correct order or whatever, okay? So here's our answer, we have one force 0 0.25, here's our of operation and to be honest I'm not I'm not talking about this a this a stands for addition s stands for subtraction I hope you get it right now because but we don't have this addition and subtraction so we can is actually skip this part we don't have it but when you have it you can easily do this as a last step after division you can easily add add or subtract okay so for example just quick a quick case for you quick example so for example we have two times five minus six divided by four times seven minus 
4 plus 8 and divided by 2. So for example, we have a mixture of multiplication and division sign. And whenever we have a mixture of multiplication sign, first of all, you need to perform multiplication division group. So where do we have it? You need to scan. Where do we have it? Where do we have it? What place you have this uh, mixture of multiplication and division? And in the end, you need to perform subtraction for example subtraction right here division right here so first of all first of all multiplication division multiplication and division after this we need to perform addition and and subtraction and of course addition subtraction you can easily get it without any order of operation but whenever we have a mixture of multiplication and division only we need to perform it in a strict order in a strict order from left right and of course i'm not talking about parentheses and the powers okay this is not that case but when you have a simple case with multiplication division distance fraction here is a quick quick example so the correct answer is one force let's go back to our question and as i as you can see right here we have this one force and of course it looks like a correct answer because we saw it according to uh, according to a correct uh, a correct order of operation so you can easily be proud of yourself that you solved this question absolutely absolutely correct you can easily be happy about it that you solved this question and you said that correct answer is one force but what's wrong with this approach because we have one it looks like a correct answer we just four divided by two we have two four divided by two we have two and with this division we have we have one and what's wrong with this uh, with this uh, with the thing first of all we right here in this case we mentioned the division this division sign had the higher priority than this division sign in the middle okay so it looks like we forget about this division sign in the middle and we jump to this part to this side and to this side on the on the left left side so we jump right here at this point and we jump right here we forget about this division sign in the middle and this is a correct approach but with parentheses okay right here we need to have parentheses and right here and with parentheses correct answer is one so you, uh, you should be happy about it when you have this type of question and you said that correct answer is is one because then we mention okay because we mentioned that this division sign had the higher priority than this one in the middle because parentheses in 99 percent of cases parentheses and doesn't matter what order of operation parentheses is a first first step so we don't forget about it that parentheses has the highest priority so right here with these parentheses you like underline that you need to divide at first four divided by two of course then you can easily jump because parentheses still have the higher priority doesn't matter on what side like uh, they are these parentheses on the left on the right right here too right here too and of course correct answer is one with parentheses so with parentheses correct answer is one a lot of students maybe think that correct answer is two right here a lot of students try to like solve this question like like uh, in a weird method like divide four divided by two four divided by two and then like guess by inspection that correct answer is two well i want to underline this once more correct answer with parentheses is one but this is wrong answer in our case you uh, shouldn't be happy about it that you solve this question like that and correct answer in our case this is one force because we solved it according to a correct uh, a correct order of operation here you can see this is our order of operation here is our uh, our quick quick like special case because we solved it according to uh, according to a wrong approach but with parentheses everything is absolutely great so you need to review a little bit your basic math when you say that correct answer is is one but correct answer in our case is one force and you can easily be proud of yourself that you solve this question absolutely 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 correct so thank you everyone for watching this video i really appreciate it and i really hope that you solved this question absolutely correct that you said the correct answer is one force because you know uh, maybe you can easily plug in this question on your calculator you can easily do this but i suggest you to solve this question with me first of all and of course in 99 percent of cases your calculator will solve this question absolutely correct but just try to plug in the whole question from left to right okay when you plug in this question from this side to this side you can easily get the correct and uh, get the correct answer okay so this is extremely important topic right now so thank you for watching this video i really appreciate it i really hope you get uh, this point i really hope you understand my explanation about this question and wish all the best in your life take care of yourself thank you for your time see you in the next videos and have a great day